Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing something kind of fun. I'm going to be doing a first impressions and I'm going to be using this product right here. This is the new Maybelline Superstay 24 hour lip color. I think it's new anyways. This is something that I've just recently seen pop up at the drugstore. Um, I've seen it at a few different stores. I bought mine at Target, but I have seen it at CVS too, I think. Um, and it just kind of intrigued me, so I thought I would pick one up and test it out with you today. Now, according to the Maybelline website, there's 30 or 35 different colors. It says two different things on there. Um, at Target, there was probably only eight or nine shades to choose from. So if you're looking for a wide range of colors, I would probably check somewhere like Ulta. I bet they'll have more of a selection than Target does. I only picked one of these up and the color that I picked up is number 80 infinite petal all right taking the product out of the box here this is what it looks like it's a double-ended product you have your lip color on one side and then a gloss a balm on the other all right so opening up the side with the color on it you see that it's just like a typical doe foot and the other side instead of twisting it off you can just pull off the cap and it's a typical lip balm I have the Maybelline website pull up here on my tablet and I'll just read to you a little bit about what they claim that this product does. Alright, it says, no other longwear lipstick lasts longer, period. Our Microflex formula glides on and looks gorgeous all day in 30 long lasting shades. But then over here it says that there's 35, so I don't know. There's quite a few shades to choose from regardless. And then it goes on to say why you'll love this product. It says, meet the 24 hour lip color that stretches the limit of longwear. Formula with Microflex looks and feels fabulous after 24 hours. No crumbling, no caking, no fading, no feathering, no transferring. Two step lip color in one pack and again in 30 long lasting shades. And they say for best results, apply the liquid lip color to your clean bare lips. Allow a full two minutes to dry, then apply ultra conditioning balm to seal in softness. Reapply balm as needed and then remove with an oil based makeup remover. So this product has some pretty hefty claims. I'm very skeptical that this is going to last a full 24 hours and I do not intend on wearing this for a full 24 hours but we'll see what this looks like at the end of the day and hopefully I can do a couple of different check-ins throughout the day as well just to kind of see how this is wearing um, but also it says that there's not going to be any crumbling, caking, fading, feathering, or transferring. I have used some of these two-step lip products before in the past, the really long wearing ones. I know I've tried some from um, CoverGirl like way back in the day and then um, I know I've used a L'Oreal one as well and I've never really loved those products. I do feel like they kind of cake up and like get that weird line like on the inside of your lips here. Um, but this one, because of all these different claims, really intrigued me and this color really drew me in as well. I just think it's so pretty. So let's just go ahead and apply it and see what it looks like on the lips. All right, before I apply it, let me give you a quick swatch on the back of my hand. Again, this is the color Infinite Petal, and I just think it's so pretty. It's like a deep, really pinky mauve color with a little bit of micro shimmer in it. It actually reminds me a lot of a color that I used to have called Mauve Rock from Maybelline from like 2003. Um, it was from the Wet Shine Diamonds collection, and I've mentioned that color once or twice here on my channel. Um, that was my absolute favorite lip gloss in high school and college. I used it so much. It was absolutely amazing, and of course, it has been long discontinued, um, but I saw this one, and it reminded me of it, so that's why I picked this one up. It's just so pretty. Um, so let's go ahead and apply it. And I did exfoliate my lips ahead of time. I used the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator and they are completely dry. Nothing is on my lips right now. This color is very similar to that Mavi Rock. I'm so excited. I am really happy that I picked it up just based on the color alone. Hopefully at least some of that was in frame so you could see me applying it, but the lip color is on. I really, really love this color. It's just um, kind of a, more of a natural, your lips but better kind of color. I know everyone is throwing those words around right now, but um, really that's kind of what it looks like to me. There is a little bit of glitter to it, uh, but it's not super noticeable. Um, the Mavi Rock that I mentioned had way more glitter and they were like big, huge flecks of glitter. This does not have that. Um, but I'm really liking the color so far and it's set to wait two minutes before you apply the balm So I will wait two minutes to let this dry. Um, right now it feels really really tacky on my lips Kind of like that typical long wear lip color feel, um, you know, the two-step ones This feels pretty typical of those other ones that I've used in the past um, But we'll wait the two minutes and then we'll put the balm on and see what happens All right, it's been about two minutes since I applied it and it has dried down a little bit it's still a little bit tacky, but not nearly as bad as it was when I first put it on. Um, so now let's put the balm part on. All 
All right, now that the balm is on, this is actually feeling really comfortable on my lips. So far, I am really liking this product. Very happy that I picked this up. I think this color is absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it just feels really nice. The balm is very moisturizing. It is a little bit glossy, but it's not sticky feeling at all. Um, just nice and moisturizing. So, so far, so good on this product. I'm really excited to see how this wears throughout the day. Hey guys, first little check in here for the day. It's only been about a half hour since I put the Super Stay Lip Color on my lips, but I wanted to let you guys see what it looked like in natural light. Um, it's kind of a cloudy, dreary day here, but um, I thought I would come on here and show you. Then I wanted to show you the swatch that I put on my hand. Um, I washed my hands actually, um, and the color looks amazing still. So this stuff really is pretty good, and I didn't do a kiss test either, so. There you go. That's what it looks like after you kiss. So it is definitely locked on my lips. Um, some of the balm came off when I um, did that, but, but none of the color came off. So this stuff is locked on my lips, and so far I really am loving it. All right, so now I've got to go run a quick errand, and then I'm off to pick my son up from school, and I will check in with you guys later. Bye! How was school? Good. What did you learn? E. F. You learned about the letter F? Uh-huh. What is an F word? Fire truck. Fire truck? That's a good one. What would you have for lunch? The thing you just made me. <laughs> well, what did I make you? Jam sandwich. A jam sandwich? Well, what else was on it besides jam? Sand butter. Oh, sand butter and jam. Was it good? Did you eat the whole thing? Mm -hmm. We'll go home now, okay? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're the best boy ever. So my lipstick has been on now for about two hours and I think it's still holding up pretty well. It still feels pretty comfortable on the lips and um, the balm is definitely still there. It's not nearly as glossy as it was, but um, I think it looks okay. So two hours in, I'm still really liking this product. It is almost two o'clock and I never even told you the time when I first put this on. Um, it was about 11.30, so it's been about two and a half hours. Um, I just ate lunch um, and I think it's still going okay. Um, I still do feel some of the balm on my lips, um, but I am going to reapply it. Talk. What should I talk about? <laughs> I have a little helper. Talk about me eating a happy meal. Oh, yes. I said if you were good later today, then maybe we could do a happy meal for dinner because you've been asking for one for a long time now, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. What? Hi. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, you're just looking at yourself. He's looking at himself in the viewfinder. Do I have a lot of makeup? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you have a lot of makeup? No? I have a couple makeup You do. You have one makeup palette that you like to play with, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I can put a lot of things in my face. What? Like my tummy. You put your makeup on your tummy? Oh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. That's makeup I'm trying out today. Is it pretty? Do you like it on my lips? Mm -hmm. Get it on my lips? No, no, not today. All right, say goodbye. One more question. Oh, what are your other questions? What are your other questions? Um, are purple grapes or black grapes? Do you like red grapes? Uh, no? Those are black grapes and oh, okay. these. Oh, yeah. I forgot something. What did you forget? Okay, bye. Goodbye. All right, it is now time for the very last check-in of the day. And yes, my face makeup is looking pretty rough right now. I know, so please bear with me with that. But it is now about 10.50 at night and the lip color has been on my lips for a little over 11 hours right now. And I have to say, I'm still very impressed with this product. I think it's held up very well throughout the day. I don't know about 24 hour wear, but definitely I think you can get 12 hours out of this, no problem. I did just reapply the balm about 10 minutes ago, and I probably used the balm maybe four or five times total today. So this is definitely an integral part of the product. Um, I don't think I would like this stuff nearly as much if I didn't have it. It just makes everything really comfortable feeling on your lips, so I really like that part of the product. I mean, I really like the whole thing, but the balm is a very nice balm. However, one thing I've noticed is that this stuff is not going to last you very long. It is kind of a small product to begin with, um, and it just seems to go really, really fast. Here, I'll show you. 
I don't know how well this is going to come off on camera, but hopefully you can see how much I used today. This morning when I first opened the product, the balm was flush against the top of the plastic, so I think I have used quite a bit of this today, so I don't think it's actually going to last very long. And here is how much I have left. And then in that close-up, you might have been able to see that there was a tiny little bit of transfer of the lip color onto the balm. Not that big of a deal, I don't think, um, and it's just a little bit, but something that I did want to make sure that you knew about. And I kept a list here of a couple of different points that I wanted to be sure to talk about. Um, there really isn't much of a smell with this product at all, which is nice. You know, sometimes these new lip glosses these days are like really, really heavily fragranced, or sometimes they just smell like paint thinner or glue or something. This one really doesn't smell at all, which is really nice. Um, if you open it and like put Put it right up to your nose you can slightly smell it but it's very inoffensive it's just a really light smell and like I said you have to be like really really close to the product and I don't even know what that smell is it's not like a vanilla or a floral scent or anything like that that they added I think it's just the smell of the actual product one other thing I wanted to mention about the balm, um, the color does have some sparkle to it, and as the day wore on, I noticed that I had less and less sparkle on, so I think the balm was taking it off. Not that big of a deal, really, since the color is still there, I think. But just another thing I wanted you to be aware of, and the swatch that I put on my hand earlier is still going strong. I didn't put the balm over that or anything, and you can definitely still see the sparkle on there. And I washed my hands a handful of times today, you know, as one does, and it's still, like, totally intact. I don't think anything has transferred off of it. Um, it's pretty much just as bright as it was 11 hours ago, which is really impressive. Another thing I wanted to mention is color selection. As I mentioned before, there's between 30 and 35 different lip colors listed on the Maybelline website. I got this color, Infinite Petal, at Target, and I was at CVS earlier today, and I just kind of browsed through the Maybelline products just to kind of take a look, and I noticed that they did sell these, but they did not sell this color. So I'm guessing that at least some of the colors are exclusive to different stores. The packaging didn't say anything about it being exclusive, but just so you know, in case you are looking for this particular color, don't expect to find it at CVS. And just as far as wearing this goes, there is no crusting, no like gooping up of the product at all. And I've experienced that with every other long wear lip color that I've ever used. So in that respect, I am so freaking impressed with this product. I just think that this has held up so well throughout the day. Again, I don't know that I would get 24 hour wear out of this. I don't know that anybody needs a 24 hour lipstick. So that's everything I have to say about the Maybelline Super Save 24 color. Um, I know it's kind of a strange name, but I'm really impressed with this product. I really am interested in trying out some of the brighter shades to see if it wears just as nicely. So this is definitely something that I would recommend if you're looking for a no fuss lip color. I had greasy McDonald's for dinner and this is still what my lipstick looks like. I mean seriously, this product is impressive. So let me know down in the comments below if you used this product before and how your experience was with it. I'd definitely be curious to see what other people think of it. But for me, this was a great product and I can't say enough good things about it. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like. We can also connect on Instagram. I'll leave the link somewhere down there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!